Hey everybody, Aaron, Ripping Ohio. It is another one of these days where we have to have this thing running. It's that time of year. Uh, strangely enough, today was the coldest day we've had this month. And it was 54, I think, was the high. So we got this. And as you can see out here, it is rainy, crappy, cold, yucky, and pretty windy. I think you can see the leaves bouncing around there. Uh, yeah, the tread or the treadmill, the trampoline's covered, and the leaves are everywhere. There was some very beautiful colors yesterday, but I think you can see that a lot of the leaves are gone now. <laughs> this wind and the rain really, really took everything out of there. Pretty happy about this. I uh, got a new inverter the other day. Uh, yeah, and it's ugly because, well, it's it's just ugly. But it is hooked up properly. I just put some extra tape on there to try to keep things safe. Uh, it's a 2200 watt power bright pure sine wave inverter. And it has three, uh, oh, let me move this, uh, three GFI protected outlets. And it is hooked up and it works good. It does that big chirp thing when it starts up. Works great. Uh, I've been running a 32 inch LCD television and of course everybody wants to text me now <laughs> yeah isn't that funny uh, anyway very happy 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 running the TV I can run more sensitive stuff like uh, my the wood stove it'll be running on this or the the pellet stove I mean once I get everything wired in this is all gonna be enclosed uh, I think you can see we have absolutely nothing coming in. There's like an amp and a half, and down here we're uh, we're about 12.2 volts roughly, if I could guess. It's just a little bit above 12. Uh, pretty happy. Here's the old one, the old thousand watt inverter. It <laughs> it looks so tiny compared to the big guy now. Uh, this was a modified sign. This thing served its purpose but he wasn't good enough kinda had to upgrade and I don't know why it has a handle on it like are you just gonna take your inverter for a walk like yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go to my somewhere and got my handle and <laughs> yeah yeah uh, this thing yeah he's he's really pulled his weight though he uh, he's done several loads of laundry he's powered most of my lighting uh, charged all of our devices for the past I don't know long time but, this big boy now, if it'll focus, there we go, power bright, pretty happy. This guy now is going to be, be in charge of all this. Rain, cold, well not really cold, just kind of cool, puddle, mud, uh, I ended up moving the grill. And I regretted it today because it's a swamp down there, but it is on board, so it's kind of up out of it. Uh, you see the, whoops, there we go, zoom. You can see the leaves that come down. I just pulled in here a little bit ago, and with the rain, it's it's already, rain and wind, I mean, the leaves are already coming down. It looks kind of cool out. That little bush is pretty cool. That's the burning bush I've had in my other videos. It's pretty cool. But everything else is starting to get pretty skinny in the woods. All the trees are losing everything. This guy's pretty cool. I always hated this tree, and I've tried to kill it several times. Just kind of hoping it dies so I can justify going over and cutting it down. Because I really don't want to mess with it. It's a hedge tree. Hedge apple. Uh, some people call them Osage, I think. It has thorns that are straight from the devil. <laughs> They're like 16 penny nails, but wood and sharper. And they'll go through anything. Beautiful tree, right now. Terrible any other time of the year. And Ben, oh Ben, man, he's got that. Look at that ugly butt. There's a big wart. Look at that gross thing. Nasty looking dog. It's raining. Yeah, but he's drinking, drinking fresh rainwater with looks like hickory leaves in there. Hey Ben, you happy? Nasty looking monkey butt dog. Yeah, he needs some veterinarian attention but he's happy and the rain the 
so trying to go off grid with children is quite difficult. <laughs> uh, little inexpensive toys are fun if if you let them be fun, you know. If you say, well, it's either this or just go read a book. Nobody wants to read a book anymore. This is one of those little sea monkey things, and I'm tipping the camera up because that is up by my ceiling. I think you can. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, yeah. We did the little sea monkey thing. They kind of look like trilobites. I don't know if they actually are. And we just did this yesterday, and I don't think you can see any of the little spots in there. No, probably not. Uh, trust me, there's little spots in there squiggling around. They're kind of cool. We've done these before. Uh, not not by this company, but they're kind of neat. They get kind of big, about the size of a nickel, maybe a quarter. Look like weird little dinosaur crab things. That's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. I, I like it. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, you don't have to spend a lot of money to entertain kids. Little things like this here and there, it really, you know picks up the slack of not having the latest and greatest which is overrated anyway but of course kids don't understand that and kids should be allowed to, to enjoy everything this is a, a nice way to get them back to reality get them away from videos and well video games I guess here I am making a video that sounds dumb anyway yeah see monkeys I'm not sure if I've shown this in the past. I don't think I have, actually. Uh, this is my water heater. And I think you can hear it. It's running. It is a heat pump water heater. See? And it's on heat pump. It's kind of like an air conditioner that runs backwards. It puts the heat inside the water tank. And the cold air is uh, evacuated out of the top really really cool and incredibly efficient I guess if you keep the filter clean which obviously needs to be clean had this thing for probably two years and it absolutely has reduced my my energy bill a lot we're strictly electric here for for on-grid power we don't have gas uh, I mean, obviously we have the solar which I'm trying to do a bigger amount of the uh, in the winter time we kind of put it down on electric where it says fan off right there and that just runs the regular elements just like any other electric water heater but it's kind of warm in here and I got the pellet stove going so it's a little warmer than what's comfortable so I flipped it over to heat pump and it's using that heat to concentrate into the water this is a 55, no, 60 gallon. I think it's a 60 gallon. I don't know, whatever. But we don't run out of hot water with this. When it's cooler, it does take a little bit longer to heat up the water, but it costs a lot less. We don't have to run those two big uh, heating elements in there. So, yeah, man, pretty cool. This thing was like, I'm thinking $1,000 to buy it. And there was like a $400 rebate from AEP, our electric provider, and then there was a $500 rebate, like a tax thing. So, yeah, we got it for 100 bucks, man. It's pretty cool. So today is like October 21st, I think. And it, <laughs> it's raining and cold, of course, like the other stuff that I just talked about, but I want you to see something. I can hold this still. There's tomatoes! And there's tomato blooms. See if I can find right there. Oops. Tomato blooms. In the rain, in the cold. It's still trying to produce. It's pretty cool, really. And you can see the leaves on the ground. <laughs> you can see up here the rain coming down. It's cold. This guy's still hanging on there. Still trying. There's nothing in there red yet. Everything is still green. There have been a lot of bees around. I suppose they're kind of doing their last little hurrah or whatever. It's kind of neat, really, that Mother Nature just won't give up. This plant is on top of my well. It kind of come out of nowhere. I didn't plant it. I assume some bird got a seed somewhere and crapped it out there. 
which really makes me consider my drinking water, which we don't really drink, but I mean my bathing water. It's bird poop. But, you know, it's not, it doesn't come from the sky, it's filtered through the dirt. The well is around 200 feet deep. Uh, so, by the time the water gets down to where it can come in, it's not full of bird poop. Regardless, that's still pretty awesome.